now let us discuss about this p type of rear end head type what do you mean by p type it represents or it belongs to the floating head <clears throat> a construction it is one of the floating head construction that p type it is also called as the outside packed floating head why it is called as the outside packed floating head so uh, let's first understand the construction so let's say these are the tubes coming and these tubes are getting uh, attached with this tube sheet that tube sheet is integral with this channel side so this tube sheet and channel side is integral and how this tube sheet channel side is going to move forward or how this entire assembly is going to get uh, move on the right side as it is a floating type what do you mean by that whenever there is a high temperature difference these tubes are going to expand so these tubes are going to move on the right side so what will happen this tube as it is attached to this tube sheet and the tube sheet is integral with this channel shell so this entire assembly again this channel shell is attached with this blind cover this blind cover is free it can be removed and it can be tightened with the help of bolting over there right so how this construction will look like let's say these tubes are attached to the tube sheet tube sheet is attached to the channel shell and then here if we have a close look at here there is a split pin has been given it is a 360 degree pin which will be uh, in two half so 180 degree each so this will come and it will fix on this shell there will be some groove uh, provided on to which this is going to be get fixed why it is going to be fixed over here here because this flange is loose type this flange is loose type it can slide like this so it can be coming from left to right side and this will act as a stopper so this flange cannot move beyond this point as it will act as a stopper arrangement or stopping arrangement so this flange will be locked at this location this cover flange is free and that cover flange will be having a groove for the gasket so here at this location there will be a groove for the gasket where the gasket will be going to get fitted and once the gasket is there then this cover flange will come in contact with this exposed portion of this channel shell the channel shell extension itself will act as a rest face which is going to push the gasket against this cover flange so once we are going to tighten this stud and the nut assembly this cover flange will come closer to this flange as this flange cannot move from this location and the gasket will be getting compressed at this location and what will happen when there is a thermal expansion so in thermal expanded state this let's say this uh, tubes are going to move by 10 mm so this 10 mm will also be uh, the movement will also be given to this tube sheet tube sheet will also move by the same uh, by the same distance along with the channel shell and this entire assembly so what will be happening this tube along with the tube sheet along with the channel shell along with this cover flange this split ring and with this uh, loose ring flange it whole assembly will move so that's the reason why it is called as a floating it is going to float because of the expansion caused by the pressure or by the temperature gradient so it is going to move from here so now there is a question that this tube carrying some fluid which will go into the channel side bonnet right but what about shell side so as it is going to get move so are there any chances of leakage yes there are chances of leakage from that side so to restrict that there is an arrangement provided so if we have a look at this flange is welded with the shell this is welded with the main shell and here if we have a look at this flange is provided with some pocket over here or we can uh, we can say as a groove over here where the packing will be placed so where the packing will be placed that pa packing will touch this uh, tube sheet and the channel shell from outside so over here it uh, the packing will be resting inside this groove or inside this pocket and if you look at this flange this flange is having a male portion or the recess and when we are going to tight the stud and nut assembly these two flanges will come closer to each other and here the packing will be getting compressed from one side it will be get compressed against this face 
other side this face from top side it cannot move beyond this and from bottom side there is a face of this tube sheet so in this uh, in this closely packed uh, uh, area the gland will be getting compressed and it will avoid leakage from any side so let's have a better image for the same so let's first discuss about this tube this is tube sheet tube sheet will be welded to this channel shell this channel shell if we have a close look at over here so if we are going to zoom it over here you can see this is a gasket right so this gasket is placed inside this blind cover this gasket will be placed inside this blind cover and this cover will come in this is free cover so it is movable so when we are going to untie this uh, stud assembly this cover can be removed so this cover along with this gasket will be placed over here so now this has to be tightened against some surface as this channel shell so here if you have a close look at here this brown color portion has been shown that represent the split ring locking arrangement so here there is a groove provided here there is a groove provided on the shell on the periphery all around circumference so this split ring will come in two halves it will lock over here it will lock over here this green flange is a loose flange it can slide like this so this flange will come from left to right and it will be locked over here so this is a locking arrangement this is a locking arrangement which will not allow this green color flange to move towards right so it will lock it over here this blind cover along with the gasket is coming from this side so what will happen if we are going to place a stud and nut assembly over here and we are going to tie it so this flange cannot move from this place but this cover flange will be pushed towards left side and the gasket over here will be getting compressed so the tube side fluid will not be getting leaked from this side the tube side fluid will not be getting leaked for from this side so whatever fluid is coming that will be the leakage will be arrested at this point of time so this represents the tube side leakage avoiding right so here we can avoid the tube side leakage what about shell side so as we have seen in this diagram similarly in this uh, diagram we can better understand here from the shell side fluid will be coming right so there are chances that as this tube sheet shell and this entire assembly is going to be moved right as per the thermal and pressure expansion so there are chances that there will be a movement over here so because of that movement there are chances of leakage how to avoid that leakage let's have a zoom view over here so this portion or this represents the gland packing so that packing will be placed on top surface of this tube sheet it will be placed inside the groove of this flange which is welded to the shell side so this flange is welded to shell side there is a groove inside which the packing will be provided and if we look at this green color flange it will be having a recess it is a male kind of a joint so this is again the loose type it can slide over here so it will come from right to left and then the nut assembly along with the stud when we are going to tighten the nut this green color flange will move towards this flange towards the left side and this gland will be getting compressed because of the movement of this recess or we can say because of the raised face of this inside this recess or inside this groove so the gland will be pushed from this side and it is going to get expanded over here it is going to occupy whatever volume is available over here so one side it is touching with the tube sheet on two sides it will be touching with this flange from top side and from left side and from right side it will be restricted by this green color race face flange so the packing will be very tightly uh, placed inside this groove and whenever there is a movement that will not allow any leakage from the shell side so here we are restricting tube side leakage here we are restricting shell side leakage so this is been packed from outside and hence it is also called as a outside packed floating head construction outside pack floating head construction so in 2d or this uh, two dimensional diagram i have tried to explain you the overall construction but how it will be looking in 3d so we will better understand that how these assemblies will look like how this gasket will be uh, fitted over there here in blind flange how this split ring will be removed and placed and how this flange 
can be going to slide and how this tightening will be done and how this uh, restriction will be provided to the leakage for the channel side fluid. And again for shell side leakage, uh, how this assembly is going to get work. So let's have a understanding of this in 3D. So this is the assembly what we have seen. This is type P which is externally packed floating head. So now let's have a look at. So here the tube portion or the shell side is cut like this so that we can just concentrate upon the region of the channel side which is rear end type P. So let's have a look at the construction. So this represents the cover flange. This represents the loose flange. So now we are going to untie or we are going to unbolt this or unscrew these nuts. So the nuts have been removed. So the studs also will be removed and this assembly can be set free. So you can see over here. This is a blind flange along with the groove and this represents the gasket which will be placed inside this blind flange. So this represents the gasket over there or gasket groove rather we can say. This is the gasket that represented the gasket groove and this represents the gasket and this gasket will be compressed by the channel shell surface itself. The channel, sur uh, channel shell surface itself will be going to push this gasket against the groove provided on this cover flange. Now we can see this flange is moving, it is sliding one, right? And this ring will be split in two halves like this. So you can see over here, there is a groove provided over here, right? And since its inside diameter is lesser than the OD of this, this cannot be slide from this side or th that side. So that's the reason why it has been made in two halves. So it will come from one side, it, it is coming from other side and it will lock inside this groove. So once it has been locked inside this groove, then this flange will move towards side and it will be locked over here. So the position of this flange will be locked with the help of this split ring. Correct? So this is about the channel side construction, what we have discussed. The blind flange, it will be having a groove, then the gasket, this channel shell itself will be going to compress this gasket. There is a split ring which is going to restrict the flange to come on the right side, right? So once we have removed this, it has come. Otherwise, it will be slide on the back side and then the split ring will come and then the flange will be restricted over there and then the gasket will be get compressed against the groove and the rear and the channel shell itself and the leakage from this side will be restricted. Now let's have a look at the construction where the shell side leakage will be arrested. So if we just have a look at over here, this magenta color represents a gland packing which is placed on top surface of this tube sheet. This green color one is a tube sheet. On that it has been placed. This is shell side flange with a groove. Inside that groove, this gland packing will be there and this blue color flange along with this male joint or the race face or this a tongue we can say this will be having a groove this will be having a tongue so when we are going to tight this nut so this gland packing is going to get compressed and whenever there is a thermal expansion this green color tube sheet along with the tubes this channel this entire assembly will move towards right side and here there will be a sliding but this gland since it is compressed from all side it will not allow any shell side leakage so let's have a look at that construction, how it will be looking like. So now we are going to remove the nuts. Correct? So you can see over here. As we have removed the nuts, the compression has eased or released. So this is sliding type of flange. This, shell, uh, this flange is welded. So the shell has been removed, let's say. So how the construction will look like? So first the gland will be coming, which is facing or which will be 
placed on the surface of this tube sheet first the gland will be mounted on the surface of the tube sheet then the shell side will come it will fixed inside this groove then comes the other flange stud and the nuts and when the nuts will be tightened against these two surfaces this tongue is going to compress this gland packing like this correct and now this plate ring will fixed over here so this flange will be restricted over here then the gasket will be placed in this groove and once we will be having the stud assembly along with the nuts and when we are going to tight it then the channel shell will be going to compress this gasket against this blind flange correct so let's have one more time the look at the entire assembly i hope you must have understood this through the 3d animation So there are two sides leakage that we have to avoid. One is from the channel side, another is from the shell side. So let's say this nuts are removed, studs are removed, then the blind flange with groove. You can see where the gasket will be seated. This is the groove where this gasket is going to be seated. This is the gasket, and this channel shell surface itself is going to compress. This is the split ring groove over here. and on this side this is a gland green one is the tube sheet the gland is placed on top surface of the tube sheet this is shell side flange with the groove this is shell side flange with the tongue arrangement if we are going to remove the nuts and uh, set apart this assembly so we'll come to know about that this gland is placed on top surface of the tube sheet first first it will be mounted on the tube sheet then this shell side will come in the gland will be placed inside that groove then this tongue arrangement will come when we are going to tight the nuts this tongue assembly will be going to push this gland and the gland is going to get compressed like this so it will avoid the leakage from this side then this split ring is going to fix it over here it is going to lock this flange then the gasket will be fitted inside this groove arrangement on this blind cover then when we are going to tight these nuts these two will come closer this will be locked and the blind flange will come closer and it will be pushed against the shell and there will be avoiding the leakages